Hello, my friend. I'm Amy Esther. I have multiple chronic illnesses, and I'm also 30 weeks pregnant at the time of filming this video. And I want to share with you 15 pregnancy hacks for those of you who live chronically ill. And this can help anyone who's pregnant, but especially those who live chronically ill and have even extra challenges like I do. That is my specialty, life with chronic illness. Let's just dive right in. So the first hack I have for you is to have an emergency bag with you, especially if you leave the house and on your nightstand at night because there's just little things that would be super nice to have sometimes. In the first trimester when you're super nauseous, having things like ginger candies, I liked Jolly Ranchers when I was really nauseous. You could also add in some snacks. I feel like I always just randomly get super hungry, especially at night. I also like to have chapstick in mine, maybe like a pain gel that I like to use on my shoulders and stuff. Little things like that that you can just keep with you all the time, very helpful. All right, number two pregnancy hack is to have some massagers that you can do yourself. It's nice to go get a massage. It's very expensive and hard to get yourself there, especially if you're like me and have other kids to take care of. So I have a percussion massager, which I can't totally do on my own on my back, but I can do it on my legs and other places that are aching. And then my husband can help me with back massages with that. I will link that down below if you're interested in the one that I have. I love it. It's been so, so helpful for me over the last few years. I also have one that I can just do on my own on my back, which wraps around my back. And I love using this massager. When I'm just having a rough day and my back is hurting, it just hurts all over the place right now. So <laughs> this is really nice to have something to massage. Number three hack for my pregnant people is to book all of your pregnancy appointments right when you find out you're pregnant from the beginning. Book everything because we forget. We have very forgetful brains when we are pregnant. And it's nice to just have everything booked out. Typically your doctor will tell you, I wanna see you every month up until this point and then every other week and then every week. At least that's how my doctor does it. Number four pregnancy hack is to have a grabber stick thing. I don't know what they're called, but the little things that you <laughs> can extend and grab stuff with because it can be really hard to bend over and grab stuff as well as to get stuff that are up high because you don't want to risk standing up on a chair and falling or something like that. Number five hack is Epsom salt baths. These have helped me a ton with my aches and pains. I'm actually not usually a bath person and I've taken a bath so many times, almost every night of this pregnancy, especially in the second and third trimester because I'm just aching and hurting everywhere. Number six is compression socks. Now, if you've watched my channel at all, you know all I do is talk about compression socks because I love them and I wear them every day for my chronic illness, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. But even if you don't have pods, I recommend wearing compression socks when you're pregnant and I wear medical compression socks. If you don't have a medical condition, you probably are good with the cheap ones. I have a whole video on compression socks. I'll link it down below so you can watch it, but it will really help you to understand how they work and why they are helpful during pregnancy. Number seven is hydration. <laughs> now have a water bottle that helps you drink a lot of water. I also take salt pills. I mean, I take them all the time, but especially when I'm pregnant, I love the fast chews from Vitassium. I will link those down below. They help you get electrolytes, and especially if you have conditions like POTS or EDS or those types of things like I do, they're essential when you are pregnant. And I love them, they're like little candies. They're so tasty. Or just an electrolyte drink, something like liquid IV. I personally don't really like liquid IVs, but they are very helpful in keeping you hydrated if you like that. If not, find an electrolyte drink that you like. Number eight hack is make sure you get a pregnancy pillow. I had a big pregnancy pillow for my first two pregnancies and I didn't want to invest in one for this third pregnancy. I've just been using these huge pillows that I have on my bed, but I really should have. At this point, it's kind of too late and I may as well just not waste my money because I'm almost to the end. But if you are more at the beginning, I recommend from day one of your pregnancy to buy a pregnancy pillow. They are so nice and cozy, and especially as you get bigger, you're going to love it, but you may as well buy it at the beginning if you're going to be using it through your whole pregnancy. Number nine, make sure you have an Amazon Echo Dot or something like that or something on your phone to remind you of things. So I am constantly telling my Alexa to remind me something because pregnancy brain is so real. 
you need to write everything down. Or for me, I need to hear an alarm go off to remind me of things because if I write it in my planner, still gonna forget it. I need to have an alarm going off. Number 10 hack is to actually buy maternity clothes. I see all over the internet of people trying to hack, oh, you can stretch out your jeans if you use this little device, or you just need to use your dresses as shirts or whatever. It No, you gotta buy legit maternity clothes. I know that they cost money. I got all of mine for free. My neighbor brought me all of her old maternity clothes. And do you know how many people have been pregnant for? Lots of people. I guarantee you can find some used pregnancy clothes. You're only wearing them for a few months, not even the whole nine months. You only have to wear them really the second half of pregnancy. So it's only 20 weeks. Go buy some used pregnancy clothes. I promise they will make a big difference. And I really don't recommend going out and buying brand new ones because they do get very expensive and you do only wear them for a little bit. But let me tell you, my first pregnancy, I told myself, I'm not gonna buy pregnancy clothes, they're too expensive. I'm not gonna buy a whole new wardrobe. I'll just make my closet work. No, so uncomfortable. And speaking of, wear maternity bras, but I recommend wearing a nursing bra from day one because guess what? The ladies, they hurt when you're pregnant, okay? They're more sensitive and painful and regular bras don't work and also they will grow, okay? They'll get bigger and it just won't be very comfortable in your old bras. So I recommend just buying nursing bras because there are some super comfortable nursing bras. I'll link my favorites down below. Number 11 hack is to go swimming as much as possible in a pool where you're floating. It feels so nice. You're just feeling so heavy and like you have this extra weight on you all the time because you do. And then you get in a pool and it like lightens everything up. It just feels so nice. Number 12, get yourself a belly band. I'll link the one that I've been using I really like it. It seems to work very well for me. I'll link it down below, but it helps so much because everything hurts down there. And at least for me, I feel like I can't walk without holding up my belly because it'll be so painful down there. Number 13 is to do pregnancy yoga. There's probably tons of videos on YouTube. There's one channel that I've been watching that I really enjoy. I have found that yoga is so nice because I need to get up and move. Sometimes my body feels worse if I lay around too much, especially with that baby growing and aches and pains and it hurts a lot. So get up and move as often as possible. And I know when you're chronically ill, that's hard because you're already exhausted. You already have fatigue. But I find that if I lay around too much, my body gets stiff and it hurts even more. And so doing that yoga once a day has been so helpful. And then throughout the rest of the day, just randomly getting up, going a little walk around my kitchen. That's all I need. Number 14 is yes, go to your doctor, but also go to a chiropractor. I find that the bones and the muscles and whatever get all messed up and weird when I'm pregnant. And so going to the chiropractor regularly is also on my list of to-dos while I'm pregnant. Okay, and number 15, most important hack of the day is to milk this pregnancy for everything it's got. You gotta just let people help you. You gotta simplify your schedule and take it as easy as possible. Just remind yourself this is nine months so that you get the rest of your life with this perfect human being that you're creating. So use these nine months to rest. Use these nine months to let other people help you. Use these nine months to baby yourself a little bit. You don't need to do it all. You don't need to have a perfectly clean house throughout your pregnancy. You don't need to make perfect dinners throughout your pregnancy. Just make it by. Whatever it is for you, just milk it. Just just take it for everything it's got and <laughs> enjoy those nine months because you have a very good excuse to get all the help that you need. So my friend, those are 15 hacks if you are pregnant and especially if you're pregnant with chronic illness. If you are, make sure you subscribe and I will see you on my next video. Bye. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Stop for traffic 